situation and trying to bring judgment based on what you see right now without identifying what happened before what you see. See, you can look at two people in the same place and make a mistake of saying he's better than him when you don't know how far the other guy that had to travel to See, see, for somebody, it was easy to get up and get to church and sit on the roll you're sitting on, but somebody else, it took every ounce of strength they had, it took every amount of faith they had. Somebody woke up in an abusive home, in an unloving home, in a violent home. Somebody woke up hoping they wouldn't have woken up. even inject and concur and have a realistic conversation about verse 11, I gotta go back and see what took place. Uh -huh. And the Bible says that there was a man who came to Jesus and he asked Jesus to come to his house because his servant was sick and dying and he wanted Jesus to come and pray for his servant so he can be made well. And on their way to the man's house, the man realized, why am I bothering Jesus with all of this stuff going on? And Jesus, if you just speak a word, just a word. if you just look toward the direction of my house and speak a word, the man says, he can jump in, that I have men under my command, I have a payroll, I have a boss, I'm a shot caller, and when I tell my staff to do something, they do it. So Jesus, I'm nobody in comparison to you. If you just speak to it. And in the Bible, the Bible says Jesus spoke in the atmosphere at the same time he declared it, the man's servant was made well. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, you just missed it. Speak that thing into the atmosphere. You, you just missed it. Oh, no, no.